Call this meeting to order, please. Trustee Stone, would you please give us a prayer, please? Let's pray. Most gracious heavenly Father, we're so thankful for your many blessings. We're thankful for this community college, what it means to, to the people here around about. Help us, Lord, and to make good decisions in order that uh, we will continue to do much good for the area. These things we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. This time we need a motion to convene an executive session pursuant to Texas Government Code Section 551.074 and 551.071 of the Texas Opens Meeting Act for the following purposes. Liberate the appointment of appointment of uh, employment, evaluation, reassignment, duties, discipline, or dismissal of public officer employee, vice president instruction, personnel, and government body seeks the advice of attorney on pending contemplating litigation or settlement offer or on a matter of which the duly attorney of the governmental body of the Texas disciplinary rules, professional conduct, state bar of Texas clearly conflicts with the chapter, this chapter. So I here, a motion. A motion made by Trustee Hamber. Second. Seconded by Trustee Mayfield. We'll be back in just a second. Take action on the personnel action as to vice president of instruction. Do we have a motion? I'll make that motion. Uh, Trustee Henry makes a motion to uh, nominate uh, Dr. St uh, Spencer Wagley to the vice president of instruction. Do I hear a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Congratulations. Congratulations. We're excited you're, you're here and going to be having a role in this. Thank you. Uh, the next order of business uh, is consider any and all possible actions related to RFP number 2024-02, the campus dining services contract. Do I hear a motion on that matter? I'll make a motion to rescind our vote of April 22nd, where we approved Air one. I have a motion on the floor by Trustee Mayfield to rescind the motion to approve um, Airmark. Is there any discussion on that? Uh, a second. Uh, with, 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 do we have a second? I'll second. Yeah. Jerry and Scott. Are both of them. Is there any discussion on this motion? Um, is there? Hearing none, uh, all, all in favor of rescinding the um, uh, April 22nd AM. Airmark uh, contract. Um, do I hear a motion to accept? Uh, uh, all opposed? Motion carries. Do we have another motion regarding the, the previous matter? I'll make a motion to uh, give Dr. Morrison the authority to contract with Great Western for five years. Motion on the floor to uh, have Dr. Morrison have the authority to finalize negotiations with Great Western for the dining campus dining service contract for five years. Do I hear a second to that? Seconded by Trustee Stone. Any, any, any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. At this time, we will move. Um, uh, we're, we're going to be discussing the uh, discuss and approve the renovation of the Fine Arts Building in West Hall Dorm on the Athens campus. Yes, before you, uh, for the board, we have a, a proposal for the Fine Arts Building, which will involve the roof replacement. It was in our five year analysis that we, our five year plan that we have just put together of all of our roofs is the most critical. So in that process, we want to replace the roof and do a waterproofing of the building, which is going to actually skim the building with a new exterior. Uh, we're actually working through some uh, samples and colors and everything like that. And the final will be internal improvements, uh, which will consist of new ceiling tiles, flooring, uh, painting, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we're seeking board approval uh, to start this renovation project immediately so we can 
hopefully beat the deadline before students arrive back in the fall. Now, I think we would all agree this is one of the buildings that needs the most attention on our campus. And this will help us grow our fine arts program uh, by providing some renovations to this building. Uh, do, uh, do you have a, any, uh, is there a drawing we can put up here of the, of, of the oh, footprint no. of this? I mean, I've seen one. I don't know if you're... I can show the board after. It's never the board after. Well, okay. and, it's and, just, it's a sample. We have to find out what color and, but it's a metal. What it is, is they waterproof the building, and then they skim the building in a new metal exterior. So the 1970s rock <laughs> uh, will be covered up. <laughs> Um, do we, uh, let's, if, if you would, uh, if you'll see on your information you have in your packet here, uh, they have some numbers here and I'd like to get some discussion on this, please. Uh, but the roof replacement, 295, uh, the waterproofing part of this, 350,000, uh, internal renovations and miscellaneous 50,000. And not all of this is new money. We, we, and I, would like for y'all to discuss about how the funds are coming about on this in terms of contingency, and also we're using money from the budget to help fund some of this. Is that not? Is that yeah. Right? Originally, we had uh, put money before we did a roof analysis. We had put money in the budget to address roof concerns, which was mainly just going to be patching. Uh, and doing that roof analysis of all of our buildings, uh, it became pretty evident that this roof had some of the most critical needs. And so we have money that was put in the budget and through some other projects doing on campus and some projects that we're not gonna be here to complete before the end of this fiscal year, uh, Dr. McCarthy kind of moved money aside through the current budget of about $150,000 to contribute this project then looking at about $175,000 in our contingency and the rest coming for reserves. Now, David's gonna move all the money together into one place to make the tracking easier. And David, you said you were just gonna move that, already move that to our reserves and spend out of that. Right, from a project manager standpoint, when you're trying to code invoices, that's kind of, you know, we gotta move it into a budget, a budgetary place. So but we'll take care of all that so we get spent properly. Does anyone have any, any uh, discussion or questions for uh, on this project? <laughs> do you have anything? Do you have anything to say? Or... <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, Okay, hearing none, do uh, I hear a motion regarding this renovation of the Fine Arts Building? I'll make that motion. Motion made by Trustee Hembry. I hear a second. Second by Trustee Day. Uh, all in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Ayes carry. Motion carries. The next item uh, is West Hall renovation. Dr. Morrison. Yes, uh, we're anticipating to see an increase in our resident students mm -hmm. this fall. And our two oldest dorms, West and South, uh, need some attention. And so we'd like to start in West Hall this summer, providing updates to ceiling tiles, flooring, new lighting, uh, complete paint uh, as kind of the first phase of this project. In the new budget going in next year, we will have money for West Hall for sealing of the windows. And we're also working on a budget plan for next summer to start renovation of bathrooms and things that, uh, if you haven't been in those halls in a long time, they uh, we need to present ourselves better to our students for living conditions. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is starting the process with West Hall which then we'll start, as we put our plan together, move into South Hall, provide renovations. Um, but all, both those halls need uh, complete window resealing. Uh, the windows are, I mean, it's the originals. Some of them are on the verge of falling out. Uh, so we are just asking the board uh, approval to start this endeavor so we can get these rooms up to par for our students this fall. 
And this fall, we'll start the reselling project where they told us would not be a nuisance to our students living there. So. And the, ter the, the uh, total cost for this project is $152,000 as shown on your perspectives. And once again, Dave will just take the money, move it to capital reserves and spend out of one location. We're using $52,000 of, of budget allocations in addition to $100,000 of reserves. Are there any questions? Discussion? Hearing none, do we hear a motion? I so the money. Trustee Stone, second. Second. Trustee Henry. All in favor, say aye. aye. Uh, all opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, the next item of business is to can uh, we're required by state statute we're canvassing the votes of may 4th 2024 of the general election for two dcc board of trustees district seat five uh we're here today we have the the result is hand provided to us uh it's on your packet here uh the, the, the preliminary one that was sent over this is the, your, what's at your uh, location. They, they sent over the actual uh, the final ones from the county. Uh, it shows that it's certified by the Paula Ludke Henderson County Elections Administrator that uh, certifying that the results are official to be true, correct tally for the May 4th, 2024 election for the canvassing authority of Trinity Valley Community College. Uh, you'll see there that the registered voters with 14,000, the ballots cast 1,074, voter turnout 7.67%. It also includes the uh, outcome of those uh, votes cast uh, on the back uh, for position number uh, five. Uh, uh, Ginger Morton, who's in attendance today, uh, won that election by 557 total votes. And then we also had Two districts, District 4, which is uh, Dr. Clayton Gethro, and District 8, Dr. Ron Day, were unopposed, and the election was canceled on that. Uh, so we need a motion to approve the issue of the certificate of election for Districts 4, 5, and 8. Do I hear a motion to do that? Oh, oh excuse me. Uh, do I hear a motion to approve the canvassing uh, uh, of the general election of the TVCC Board of Trustees, District Seat 5? I'll second. I'll second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. All opposed? Same side. Now, we need a, uh, do I hear a motion to issue the certificate of election for Districts 4, 5, and 8? Thank you. Mr. Henry, uh, Trustee Henry have made the motion. Trustee Day seconded. All in favor? No. Aye. All opposed, same side. Motion carries. Is there any further action to be taken today? I hear a motion to adjourn. <laughs> so moved. Seconded by like Trustee Mayfield. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you all for being here. Uh,